Arrive, O compatriot, Nigeria. I've forgotten the rest of the lyrics. But yes, congratulations to um, Nigeria. Yes, they have um, qualified to the semi-finals of the African Cup of Nations. Um, they won against Angola. Angola, they them shock me. The kind of football Angola can play against Namibia. I saw it. I was like, mm, Angola might be pulling some upset. Not knowing it was stomach upset. Bro, which kind of football be this? I really, bro, I really thought they were going to give like Nigeria a tough time because I have said, said we can't allow Nigerians to win the AFCON because if they win the AFCON, it is not going to go down well for us. Okay? Ghanaians, we are going to get the heat. What Nigerians will do to us when they win the AFCON, eh? Listen, what they will do to Ghanaians, eh? We will, okay? See, that is why we can't allow it to happen. Now, who even, eh? eh John of that, they don't even know how to prepare. Look at how they are dragging it with us. Afrobeat, look at how they are dragging it with us. Look, look, look at the, bro. We can't let this happen. So I was rooting, bro. I was rooting, rooting for uh, um, Angola. Angola to win. But yes, Nigerians, bro, the kind of football Nigerians are playing, eh, bro, it'd be crazy. There is this player, Simon Moses, or Simon Moses, Simon Moses. Nigga, bro, I say them for sit Jordan, are you down? This is what the next coach of the Black Stars has to do. He has to sit Jordan, are you down? And play Simon a uh, uh, Simon Moses in clip at the Afcon making bro hey Simon Moses no 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 the guy be too much too much I was saying he said he was on steroids like bro the kind of ball the guy is playing you go take like like three defenders on they will take the ball hey he the part inside you see the way Moses was parting the see this one he's parting this he the part the defender he the part the defenders. Moses in the Bible, they part the sea. Chairman is on the field of play, parting the. But me, some of them, they divide them into two. Brilliant player. Nah, bro. He's too good. He's too good. Like, I've never seen him play. And he's strong. I don't know whether he be a bow or he be what. What kind of food he eats? Too good. So as a stance, Nigerians have qualified to the semi-finals of the competition. How the thing they go now, it look like Nigerians are going to win the AFCON. Because, you see, now, nah, bro, I can't allow this to happen. I will not allow this to happen because, personally, if they win it, I'm going to log off the internet for the rest of the year. Because, what they, see, what Boniface is doing to me on Twitter, Boniface, Boniface is killing me, my guy, bro. Boniface say what? Uh, Charlie, how far? Um, of course, uh, you are GH. When your mate did semi final, you did drag your love rice. Bro, Boniface has been cooking me since the beginning of this AFCON. And I've been waiting for the day that Nigerians will just slide like one Bisaka. They will slide like PowerPoint presentation. Then I'll walk in and step on a uh, Boniface neck or drag him like uh, a generator. But that day, you know, they come. And I'm beginning to be frustrated. I'm beginning, to, I'm beginning to get frustrated because it's for how long, bro? How long? But you see, agenda delayed is not an agenda denied. Whatever the situation, well, even if it is in the final and they lose it to another country, I will be there. Don't get me, don't, don't get it twisted. I love Nigerians, but I have a lot of them on my channel. Like, we do our back and forth and things. But I can't personally allow Nigerians to win the AFCON because of my personal reason. If other countries will agree, me, I will not agree. Because what they will do to us, eh? You people don't know what Nigerians will do to us. We see the job of that, they don't know how to cook. Look at how they are dragging it with us. So imagine, AFCON, they will come and... I went to the last time we won an AFCON and be like, hey, I think 43 years ago before we, we won an uh, AFCON. Ghana won an AFCON 43 years ago. None of you watching, okay, I know some of you were born and things, but some of more, majority of like the demographics for my age, and most of you guys were not born. So they are going to rub it in our face. 
And that is why we can't allow this to happen. I love Nigerians, but this one, take Afro beef. You they even take your jollof. The jollof that you don't know how to cook, take it. But the Afghan leave it. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. It's not, me, we will not agree. Oh. We will not agree. So that is what is going to happen. But congratulations to them. You see, they are putting in the effort. Effort. I see countries like that putting the effort on the field of play. And I'm happy because, you see, my country couldn't make it out of the group, uh, the group stage, right? So I see countries like that putting in the effort and I go like, this is beautiful. You can't fault them. It's not their fault that they are progressing to the next round of the competition. They are just playing beautiful football. And if it's one goal project, they are still moving out. So I can blame them, but I just can't sit and watch them win the AFCON. That is not going to happen. So I have to call the CAF president. They have to intimidate them. They have to, they have to do something. Do something. Nigerians will kill us. They will kill us. Nigerians will kill us. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. But I'm going to them shallow. Them sharp ass. I'm gonna sharp ass them shan. Shan like shai. Them shan like shama. Shama. How can you allow Nigerians to be. Ah. Nah, bro, it's crazy. Congratulations to my people. Congratulations to Nigerians, yes. Uh, one if there, he should continue, no problem. I will be there that day. I will be there. I'll be there. Also, shouts to Victor. Um, Simon Moses, shouts to him. Osimen tried to get a goal today, but it was ruled offside. That is that is okay. But the Zaid guy, how did he get a call up to the national team? There is a player in the Nigerian national team court. That he was the weakest link in the match. He was the weakest link. But overall, beautiful. I even thought that their goalkeeper wasn't going to come in because of the injury that he had in the last match. But he was in. And today he was good. So overall, beautiful game. As I said, I can't fault Nigerians for having a formidable team at the AFCON. And where the things they sway towards, you know, they look like they are going to win this, uh, you know, African Cup of Nations. And that is what I can't allow to happen. So, um, we are on it. I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. Yes, it doesn't really, really mean anything until you win the whole team. In the wise words of Joel Embiid. I say what it doesn't really really mean anything. You for what shall it profit you to play football even to the final and you refuse to win the trophy, you understand? And that is where I'll step in. So right now, dear, you people should chill. Nah, bro, Charlie. Oh, I should just switch my nationality because I mean I'm half Nigerian, right? What what can should I join the winning team? Or I should I should stick to patriotism? Nah, bro, it can't happen. It can't. But congratulations to Nigeria.